Ranger on uh, 102.1 right outside of Fort Stockton where we just wolfed down a Subway sandwich, a bag of chips, a bag of peanut M&Ms, and Cynthia had a diet Dr. Pepper. Did I leave anything out? No, you got it all. Got it all. It was a balanced meal. And we got some gas too. We actually loaded up on some extra canisters of gas just because we don't know what the supplies are like depending on where we go. But so far so good. It's 48 degrees outside. It's very windy as you might be able to tell from the roll of the truck. Uh, but we are, what do you think, Connor? Like four and a half hours? Four and a half or five. It's a long drive to the capital of Texas. No. El Paso, where we left from at 3.30 today, is closer to the state capital of Chihuahua, of New Mexico, and maybe, well, Arizona, and maybe Colorado. I don't know. I don't know what the, the drive is there. But we're, we're closer to many other state capitals than we are to our own, just to give you a sense of how big Texas is. Um, but we're having a good drive, listening to the classic rock on whatever stations we can find along the way. Um, and we have a pallet of water in the back. How much do you think that weighs, Cynthia? Man, it, it um... Would you, would you measure, would you weigh it in pounds or in tons? A tons. <laughs> I think you have to do tons. Uh, well, maybe it's, it's pounds, but it's a lot. So it's, it's it like... It like dropped the yeah. truck down. Well, it's 58 cases of water, and in each case, there's 24 bottles of water that have 8 ounces per bottle. Oh, man, there's yeah. a math problem in there. <laughs> My kids are in 4th, 7th, and 8th grade math right now, so I am terrible at math. Amy's great at it, so she helps with the math homework, but that sounds like a math problem. It's heavy. Let's just say it's, it's heavy. heavy. So we're, we're driving this water to Austin, um, and we want to send the, the signal out there or the call out there to anyone else who can do this. We're driving this pallet of water to Austin because the Travis County judge, Travis County is the county that Austin is in, has, his name is Andy Brown, he sent out the word to the country that Austin is running out of water and they need help. And he's asking anyone who can to drive that water in to north East, East Early College High. Northeast Early College High. Just drop it off. Um, it's open 24 hours a day. There'll, there'll be a parking lot or something where you can drop the water off, and then just get out of town. <laughs> you know yeah. that if you're not from Austin, then then go back to where you came from or go somewhere else where there are resources. Um, but they really, really, really need water, and uh, we're trying to be responsive to that both in bringing this pallet of water, which is going to do some tiny little bit of help, but more importantly, um, everything that you all have donated over the last 24 hours, uh, which was $755,000 20 minutes ago, then we posted this on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram, and I think we raised another $25,000 in the last 10 minutes, so we're, we're over $800,000 now. Uh, was it 805,000? I think what, something like that. Folks are being very generous. So we're, we're going to use the money that you all are donating to purchase and transport water to get shelter and food for people who need it and don't have it right now in the most affected cities and communities in Texas, uh, be they urban or rural, uh, wherever they are amongst the 254. So thank you, thank you, thank you for donating. That's really exciting that there are so many people who are willing to step up and contribute and make sure that we have the resources to help out. Likewise, you all have been so good at describing to us what the needs are and where those needs are. I'm hearing busted pipes everywhere, um, water shortage in a lot of places, um, significant home repair costs kind of spread out all over the state we're hearing about a lot of it in houston austin san antonio but elsewhere um, 
And we're also hearing about um, the necessity to support our shelters for those who are experiencing homelessness right now. Um, it's tough to, to never be without a home, even tougher when it's this cold, when resources are this scarce, when it's hard to get water and food, um, and, and maybe that much harder to stay with a relative or a friend because they're out of their own house. So, um, thank you for contributing. I don't know, Cynthia, if the link is pinned. It, uh, well, what we have right now is, and we'll switch off the pins, but we have the address to where folks can go and drop off the water. Well, let's stick on that. Let's stick with that one for a little while. And then we're going to ask you to make donations because uh, we want to make sure that we have the resources to help everyone that we possibly can. But, but for now, um, to those in Austin, we, we hear you loud and clear. Uh, many of you are without water. There's a real challenge in guaranteeing the supply of fresh, drinkable water and ensuring that that's distributed. And so if you can drop off water, if you have water, you, you know, we're driving all the way in from El Paso with water. You might live a little bit closer and your community has water. If you can do that and you've got a truck or you have the capacity to carry that in, drive it to Northeast Early College High School in Austin, Texas. Drop it off there 24-7. By the time we get there tonight, it's going to be like 1 a.m. or thereabouts. So whatever time you can get there, get there. Uh, and then again, especially thinking about the people in Austin um, who are already dealing with scarce resources, probably makes sense to get out of Austin as quickly as you can um, so that we're not consuming hotel rooms that might be needed or, you know, food and water resources that might be needed, it might be scarce. But if you can drop that off, which is what we're doing, please do that. Um, and we have people that are donating that do, and they know that we're using the money to help people. And so Emily Mountain just said that she donated. And Thank you, Emily. Yeah, shout out to you. If you've made a donation, please post it on there. I'd love to give you guys a shout out. So should we talk about donations now? Yeah, I think so. If we can, if we can pin that donation link so that people can easily... It's pinned. It's pinned, there just like that. I just say it and it happens. And it happens. It's amazing. Um, again, thank you if you've made a donation already. Um, in the last 25 now hours, we've raised uh, over $800,000 and it is climbing quickly. We're putting that money towards water and shelter and food, the, the very basics. We're gonna look at how we can help support uh, in the repair of pipes, um, home repair, uh, those kind of things. But right now, just trying to make sure that people literally are hydrated enough, warm enough, and fed enough to get through this. And we're trying to get that money out as quickly as we can. Um, but the, the more that you send us, the more that we can get out to folks that we've identified in Texas, partners that we've identified who can um, care for and help those who are most in need right now. So please consider making a donation. If we're at $105,000 when we started this live stream, would love to see if we could get up to $850,000. And Amel Go ahead, Amelia just donated. Go, Amelia. Wendy Roberts just donated. Go, Wendy. So, folks are being very generous. Thank you. Keep it coming. We have a lot of people that we need to help in Texas, and your money will definitely do that. Absolutely. Oh, Kim Ortiz, we donated $100 yesterday, and I am doing uh, headshots for charity at my studio this Friday in Austin. That's awesome. That's so nice. Thank you, Kim. That's great. So, anyhow, thank you all for doing that. Um, please <clears throat> feel free to share this live stream. I think it's pretty easy to do. I don't have the screen in front of me, but I think it's a couple of clicks. When you share the live stream, it shares with everybody on your feed. They learn about how they can help those in Texas. Folks, this is the worst storm in the history of Texas. I forget how many tens or maybe hundreds of billions of dollars this storm has already cost Texas and is expected to cost Texas. Uh, but it's just absolutely staggering. And those of you who joined our uh, wellness check-in phone banks over the last few nights know from talking to senior citizens across Texas, folks have 
you know, gone without water, gone without heat, gone without electricity. Um, in, in many instances, as their water comes back on and they have busted pipes, they have real damage to their homes. Um, and unfortunately, we're seeing a, a terrific cost in, in lives lost uh, over the course of this. And uh, we're, we're hearing of you know, additional tragic stories all the time, carbon monoxide poisoning, house fires, exposure, uh, hypothermia, uh, and, and it spares nobody, uh, young children to senior citizens. Um, and we're not out of the woods yet. Though electricity has been returned to most households in Texas, not all, but most, um, many millions of Texans still do not have reliable, clean drinking water. And some Texans have, you know, no running water whatsoever. Others live under boil water notices. Um, and, you know, others are just struggling to, to be able to find a reliable supply of water for themselves and their families. Um, we have a good friend from El Paso, uh, Moises, who now lives in Austin. And someone just shared with me, they were talking to Moises today. He waited in, in line for two hours to be able to pick up some water. And his comment was, you wouldn't think that I lived in Texas, in the United States of America, in the wealthiest, most powerful country on the face of the planet, that I have to wait in a line for two hours to pick up you know, some small amount of water that's supposed to last me for however long before I get back in that line and wait another two hours. So let's help these folks out. Let's get them water as quickly as we can. Again, you can drive that water to Austin as we're doing right now. You can donate to a special link that Cynthia has up that's pinned that we will use to purchase water, shelter, food, and other necessities for, for people in need in Texas. And 100% of the donation that comes to us will go back out again. We will keep 0% for overhead or administrative costs. We, we're gonna, powered by people, will, that will be part of our contribution to this as well cover the administrative and overhead cost of deploying these resources. Um, but if you donate to us, know that 100% of it's going right back out again. So, And a lot of folks are donating, Beto. Thank you so much. Please, please yep. keep it coming. Um, we, we are grateful to everyone who is organizing right now, who's raising right now, who's helping right now. Uh, I can't help but mention Congresswoman Ocasio-Cortez who has been just extraordinary in this so far, um, is a representative from a state that our junior senator, Ted Cruz, denied um, relief funding to after they had the worst storm in their history. A, a senator who was involved in the plot to overturn a lawfully, democratically decided election, who helped to incite the insurrection that almost cost the life of that congresswoman and many other members of Congress and the Vice President of the United States, Mike Pence at the time for that matter. And despite or beyond, regardless of all that, she's raised, I think at this point, over $4 million wow. for Texas. Uh, Julian Castro, the former housing secretary, and his brother Joaquin Castro, the congressman from San Antonio, have raised over $300,000 for Feeding Texas, which is a network of Texas food banks. And then you have the local leaders uh, in you know every single one of these affected communities. And, and they are Republican you know, mayors and county commissioners. They are Democratic mayors and county commissioners. And they're working their tails off for people. And I want to thank them. So County Judge Lena Hidalgo, County Judge KP George, County Judge Andy Brown, Ken, County Judge Wolf in Bear County, uh, County Judge Clay Jenkins in Dallas, and and on and on and on. You all are, are heroes right now. And uh, we just wanna thank you and we wanna support you. We'll be uh, telling you in a minute about some of what we'll be doing in Bear County, Travis County, and Harris County. But while we're on this, this subject of donations, um, just know that we are grateful. And I'm just so encouraged to see so many people contributing. Can and, I give some shout outs? Yeah, we please, have some please. Maria. Jen, Ryan, David Jenkins, Jessica Lambert, Rosalie donated from San Francisco. Way to go. 
Angelica, Catherine Salinas, Diana Duron from El Paso, Christy Hanna from Austin, Annette Riley, Sally Stresnak. Wow. Paola, and that's just some, I'm sure we missed check, some. Check this out, Cynthia. Th this, is, this is how you know we're in the stretch of Texas between Fort Stockton and Austin. There, there is no radio station that, that the can tuner find. can find. Yeah. So, um, man, that was that was a uh, a wonderful roll call. Oh yeah. Of, of heroes who are donating to make sure that people in Texas get taken care of. So thank you all. Um, we are full of gratitude for you. And please share this live stream if you can. I think it's a couple of clicks on your browser or on your Facebook app to share this with other people in your feed. That brings them in. It increases the likelihood that others will donate. Um, we're going to give them shout outs too once once we see their names. Um, and, oh, we picked up the station. And then Kate, uh, why don't you tell us where we are in total donations so far so we can know how we're doing. Um, but $805,000 uh, raised in a little over 24 hours and it's been climbing from there. So we'll We'll get the, the latest update soon. As Kate is looking for that, just really quick, Paola, Sandra from South Car uh, California, Jose Carrillo, Sonia from Mississippi, Donna from Tampa, Go Muhammad. Donna from Tampa. It's Got just a good feeling about that. I know so many people, so many people, Beto, and I. I think we're missing some because it's coming in so fast. Oh, I'm sure we are. And Kate is looking right now for that number for us. I'm sure we are getting close to that one million mark. All right, so we've got um, water drop off to Austin. Um, we've got donations uh, that Powered by People can use to help people find water, shelter, and food. And we hope other necessities kind of depends on how much we're able to raise. We're going to continue to give shout outs as they come in. The third thing that we want you to know about this evening is that we are organizing door to door wellness check-ins in San Antonio, Austin, and Houston tomorrow. What does this mean? We know that millions of Texans lost electricity. Most have gotten it back. Millions lost access to clean, drinkable water, and many of them still don't have that. Uh, many of those who lost power and lost water uh, might be uh, living with a disability, uh, they may be elderly, they may not be very mobile. We're gonna go door to door in affected neighborhoods to literally knock on the door and say, hey, my name's Beto, I just came by to see if you're okay, do you need anything, do you have water, do you have power, can we help you? And then from there, um, we'll share with you all what you can do if somebody does need power or water, or transportation or shelter, or food, um, but you know we can't just expect everyone to come to a shelter or come to a freshwater uh, pickup location or come to a food bank. There are going to be some people who we need to go out to, and that's what we're going to do tomorrow in those three cities: in, in San Antonio, in Houston, and in Austin. Um, we did something like this this week on the phones. We made. Uh, by the end of the week, I think, with, with your follow-up phone calls that Kate and you and the volunteers did, I think we're closing in on 900,000 phone calls made. Those are by phone, and those are great, and they were super helpful. But what about the folks who we couldn't reach by phone or who don't have a phone or couldn't power their phone because they didn't have electricity? Um, those are the folks that we want to reach tomorrow. So if you want to knock on doors with us and you live in one of those communities and you yourself are okay you're healthy, you're safe, you have the ability to do this, we'd love for you to join us knocking on doors to check in on folks and make sure they're okay, and if they're not, connect them with services and help. And to do that, I don't know if you have that link already up. It's up. but the, You could tell where I was going with this. Yep, it is up. So if you go to the link that Cynthia has pinned, it's poweredxpeople.org. If you go to that link, uh, you can then go to the events tab. So go to poweredbypeople.org, then go to events.
go to events and you will see uh, those three cities. Actually, I think we just added a fourth. Marlin, yep. Texas. Yep. Julie Oliver, uh, Mike Siegel, uh, and other great heroes of democracy in Texas have helped to organize wellness checks in Marlin, Texas. Um, so we're Marlin, Texas, Houston, Texas, San Antonio, Texas, Austin, Texas. These, these are four communities that really took it on the chin. Uh, we want to be there for them, going door to door to help people who need it. If you want to join us, please sign up. And maybe Kate can give us an indication of how many people have signed up already. Okay, I'll get you. I'll get that. She did give us a number, though, that we were looking for for what is our current, and it's probably changed because this was ten minutes ago. We're at eight hundred and twenty-six thousand. Eight hundred and twenty-six thousand wow. dollars raised so far. Thank you all. This is the El Paso to Austin straight shot telethon where <laughs> we're we're going to live stream this and raise the money necessary to help as many Texans and complement all the other great efforts that are taking place in the state. Um, the, the food banks, the shelters, the great work that uh, Congressman Ocasio-Cortez, Secretary Castro, um, Congresswoman Veronica Escobar, who's been raising for food banks, and others are doing right now. Um, we want to make sure that through Powered by People, our volunteers, you know, thousands of them across the state of Texas, and our donors, hundreds of thousands across the United States and we bring all that to bear in helping Texas right now so thank you all so much and we'll, we'll wait to get those numbers and Cynthia let me know if you have any other shout outs otherwise I'm going to try to find some radio I do I have so many let me pull through them um, Billy from Arizona just donated Billy? Lily, Lily. with an L uh -huh. and we have let me see Monica Salazar says, many students at the University of Texas at Austin are without water. Okay. My friends, um, my daughter and her friends included, they'll be donating again tonight. To the, the UT students, the Texas State students, the TSU students, to students, uh, Prairie View a and students. Uh, we just heard from the, the council member from Prairie View last night. Um, to all those students, um, Tell us how we help and let us know how you're helping and how we can support you. Um, we've got volunteers who are monitoring the stream. We're going to try to pick up your comments where you say, hey, we could use some resources here or some attention on this, um, or here's something that really seems to be working. Kano, could you get this envelope out? Yeah. It's right there. This one? Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh did it fall? Yeah. I'm sorry. That's okay. I'm so sorry. sorry, but here, I, did right. I get it? Oh, Look. Right here? Don't worry, I'm just driving. Oh. And trying to I'm sorry. See yeah, well. I'm so. Just trying to get some, some music. I've got a Mike Stevens uh, mix here. So up. while you're doing that, Beto, I am going to, I have the numbers Kate sent them, but I also have uh, a name that I'm going to try really hard not to mess up. You can do it. Well, Sally from Houston said, please don't forget that the Kurimbaba donated from Fulcher. So I, I don't know if I said that right, but remember Sally? She hosted oh, yeah. us. Yeah, Kurim Baba. Thank you, Sally. All right. You want me to read Kate's numbers, the sign up numbers? Yeah. All right. San Antonio, we have 28 folks signed up. Austin, way to bring it, Austin. 132 people signed up. Right on. Houston, 69, and Marlin, which is much smaller, and we just put it up. They're at five. Come on, Marlin. Come on, Marlin. You can do it. So the, the numbers that Cynthia just read, these are the four cities that we're going to do door-to-door -door wellness checks in. Um, listen, uh, if you are without water, if you're trying to take care of your kids or your folks or yourself, if you're just trying to make ends meet, do not join this. Uh, this is for those who have the capacity uh, and, and the ability, and I wouldn't blame you if you didn't come out to this one, but if you can, we're going to be going door to door in these four communities, and we'd love to have your help. Stephanie Brown, she not only shared the live stream, but she donated as well. Thank you, Stephanie. Judy, I, I can count on you. She's awesome. Judy Arrington donated $50 from Granbury. 
Go, go, go. Yep, hold on. I have more. I have more. Darlene from Atlanta. Thank you for your donation, Darlene. Atlanta, Texas or Atlanta, Georgia? It does not specify. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure. You think it's Georgia? Georgia is pretty cool. Let's see. Abby Clark said she shared, she donated. Thank you, Abby. Oh, Christy said she missed me. Christy, I missed you. I really missed a lot of the folks that I know were following the live streams before, and I've seen a lot of you post such nice, nice things about that you enjoy the live stream, so thank you. We enjoy it, too. I enjoy it. I know that it is. Well, I know you do, too, but it is Georgia. It was Georgia, Atlanta, Georgia. So Jonathan wants to know where are you heading, Beto? Jonathan, I'm glad you asked. We are heading to Austin, Texas with a pallet of water that we estimate weighs 50 tons. I'm right back there if you could see, see it. A little bit. Right back here, some of it, Beto. But it's, it's, in the, it's in the back back. The, 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 the back, the bed well, we got We got water, water all over the place. We got, we got yeah. water all over. Anyhow, this 50 ton pallet of water that I don't know how much it weighs, but we're taking Heavy. that to Austin, encouraging anybody else who has the ability to bring water to Austin to take it to Northeast Early College High School, drop it off there. Right and, in the parking lot, yep. Keep moving. Um, then we are gonna do some door knocking in Austin and in San Antonio, Houston, and Marlin tomorrow. That's, that's where we're headed. So, um, Amy Duval, she donated $100 from Dallas. Thank Go you, Amy. Amy. I love, I love Amy. I love all Amy's. <laughs> my wife is Amy. Some of the best people in my life have been Amy. And, and Amy from Dallas makes the case. Amy's always come through. Yep. A lot of people are thanking you, Beto, but I know it's all of us together, and I know it's them and their donations and yeah, all these right. crew of volunteers that we have. Yeah, shout out to the volunteers uh, because you all made over 800,000 phone calls to senior citizens across the state of Texas. You signed up for the wellness check-ins tomorrow. You donated on top of volunteering so that we've raised, you know, $830,000 